Hello, I'm Sammy Trahern. I'm the Convention Services Manager here at Experience, at Experience Bryan College Station. I have Meredith McCarn, the Catering Manager with Admiral Catering with us today. How are you, Meredith? I'm super good. How are you, Sammy? Doing well. Well, I just wanted to um, kind of let you give us um, a short introduction of yourself and how you got with Admiral Catering and, and some background on that. Sure. So, as some of you may know, Admiral Catering is locally owned by two Aggies, class of 90, Mary and Wade Beckman. Um, they, yes, they <laughs> started out with one restaurant, grew to two restaurants, then opened Admiral Catering, and now we have a third restaurant. So we essentially have four sister companies underneath um, Wade and Mary Beckman. I actually started working for Wade and Mary Beckman in 2010 as a waitress at Shipwreck Grill. Wow. And Yes, yeah, so I've been with them and worked my way up, helped run Shipwreck so they could open Amico Nave. Um, and so transitioning into this role as director of catering uh, just came, it just flowed naturally. And uh -huh. um, it's been really fun and awesome to work with people that I consider family, uh, you know, over the last 10 years. Yeah, and for sure. So this is just another going through these changes with COVID 19, it's just another. Um, obstacle we've had to tackle together, but I think our company as a whole and absolutely our owners, uh, Wade and Mary, have done a really amazing job um, handling the team and handling the challenges along the way. For sure. So <laughs> we largely operate out of our two concepts on Villa Maria, which is a Nico Nave and Shipwreck Grill. Um, Located Both right delicious. Both <laughs> delicious and amazing. Yes. Um, from scratch food. And so we're, lo we're located here about Villa Maria and Briarcrest. And uh, Admiral Catering does everything to like an office lunch drop off to 400 person weddings. So, and we can do everything in between. Um, the, um, so if you need a banquet at, on AM's campus catered, uh, with that, you could call us. If you are having a family reunion at a local venue, you can call us. We also have a private room at one of our restaurants, Amico Nave, where I'm sitting in the cocktail area right now. It holds up to 40. Um, of course, we're always staying in coordinates with the state guidelines that are announced. So we're not offering that service today specifically, but that is something as Texas reopens and gets back to business as usual, that you can definitely keep in mind. Um, a lot of folks like having um, a venue that's offsite to, uh -huh. to meet and gather. It's full AV capability. Um, we serve condensed menu, so it's a really nice occasion. Or we could do anything as casual as an appetizer station. Uh -huh. So really, I mean, there's no black and white with us, what we do and don't do. Everything's on the table, and that's what's really cool about having um, owners like Wade and Mary. They're always down for a challenge and down for yeah. an adventure. So we never tell people just like, we never tr just say black and white, can't do that. We always like, like to table it, see what, if we can make things happen, try something new. So really, I honestly feel like anyone could give us a call and it will always be a discussion if it's something unusual and we'll always try to arise to the challenge. So we, like I said, because this is such a small close-knit community, we really try to custom tailor every catering event because no two events are the same. No two banquets are the same. No two weddings are the same. No two lunch drop-offs are the same. Everyone has their own two different needs. Um, so we like to know specifics, like what do you need? And we always want to create the best custom package for that, for your personal need. Um, so while of course we do have, like if you, needed a buffet for 100 people. Of course, I have something where I can send you options and base prices, but uh, everything's customizable. We don't ever want someone to look at packages and then be discouraged because they, we don't want them to feel like they can't, you know, really tailor it to what they have in mind because we understand we do this every day and that everyone has different needs and we always want to be those people that you can call on that will meet those needs for you guys. Yeah, for sure. I think that now, during this age and time or day and time, whatever, um, I think a lot of people want that customizable. Absolutely. That's our game. We yeah. want 
We want everyone's needs to be met. We want our client to be happy. We don't ever want to put anyone in a box. So that's not really our, our game is having the set packages and set pricing and take it or leave it. That's not what really Admiral Catering is about. We mm -hmm. want to establish a relationship. We want to build um, a trust where they know they can ask what they need. We'll price it out and we will deliver it and exceed expectations, hopefully. Yes, for sure. So going off of the catering options, do you guys only offer the uh, meals and the type of food that are at the restaurant location? Definitely not. Okay, so perfect. If you're unfamiliar with our concepts, um, our first concept that was open in 2009 is Shipwreck Grill. It's Cajun, fish, burgers, definitely a more casual place. You can show up in your jean shorts and sit on a patio mm -hmm. and um, watch a game. So it's a really cool concept. Our second concept was open in 2013 and it's a little more upscale Italian from scratch. So you can have really um, awesome custom Italian dishes that you can't just find anywhere. A lot of it is family recipes from um, when Wade was growing up, one of the owners. And then our third concept is counter service, burgers, queso, um, really cool like chicken entrees and really cool salads mm -hmm. and like i said counter service so more casual it's in downtown if you want to just walk in one day so mm -hmm. and all of them are in brian all of them are in brian mm -hmm. um we love getting visitors that want to pull off before university drive come check us out um and we so those are our three concepts but admiral catering of course we're happy to cater any of those three menus um, because that's what people may think of us. However, it's its own sister company with its own separate name because it is its own entity that can cater. Um, like I said, again, we have a menu, but every time I send out our catering menu, I always say, this is just a guide. We, of course, are open to what you may be right. interested in that you may not see on our menu. Uh -huh. So. We've done plenty of custom events where people have come to us with specific menu items, specific menu genres, and say, we need appetizers like this or like this. It's not on our menu and we don't advertise it. But you know what? Wade loves to get in there with the guys in the kitchen and experiment, figure out yes. some new things that might make the menu one day. So um, we are definitely, like I said, to circle back, always up for a challenge and mm -hmm. not to do something new and exciting because um, that's the only way you can grow as a business and as a team is right. um, to keep it, to keep it moving and keep it growing. So no, we do have menus. We do have menus that are different at all three restaurants. But like I said, we're never putting ourselves in a box and you, yeah. can, you can throw anything our way and bust to leave. If we can't knock it out of the park, we will direct you to someone in town who could. So I love it. So the best way to get in touch with Admiral Catering is we're a tight knit, close community. We want to get you on the phone. I know in 2020, that's not always the most feasible way to get in touch, but don't ever hesitate to just give us a call. The number goes directly to me. So if you call the Admiral Catering phone number, you're going to talk to me, this face. And I would love to <laughs> establish that relationship with a new client and um, kind of talk things out because events have many moving parts and pieces and it's normally like most events, even weddings, they have a feeling that they're trying to overall convey, like in hearing someone's um, intention with what event they're planning, whether it's an end of year banquet or it's their family reunion or their wedding day, um, getting that sense to hear them on the phone, like what they're really envisioning, that's priceless. Um, mm -hmm. And so I love chatting with clients on the phone. Of course, email, everyone's always on email these days. So yeah. you can always reach us directly at catering at admiralcatering.com. So super simple, very straightforward. Um, so give us a call or email if you would like to talk to me and then we can get rolling on planning your event. Um, well, we touched on it so many times because it's so true, but everyone is so, friend it's the friendliest place on earth. Um, it truly is. Everyone is so warm and welcoming. Uh, and I think you just, from the second a visitor were to step out of their car here, they'll know what Brian Call Station is all about. Um, there is no prejudice. Go to one football game and be a visitor and you'll have the best time of your life. 
it's so awesome how everyone is so friendly everyone's so happy everyone sticks together um what we already knew was a tight-knit community has only been brought more together more closer working with brazos feed it forward i'm now essentially scheduling 20 different local restaurants to feed frontline workers in this community so i've established personally relationships with owners and catering directors across 20 other local concepts that i normally don't cross paths with um wow, so networking. It, yes it's just there's no other place in the world um like bryan college station i love it because of the people 100 uh -huh. um Wade and Mary lived out of town before they came back and they knew if they were going to open a restaurant, it wasn't going to be in Houston. It was going to be in Bryan College Station because there's no one like the Aggies and or the locals. The Aggie um, spirit, yeah. The yeah. Aggie spirit is through and through. You don't even have to attend the school to know what this community is about and what the values are that we uphold. Mm -hmm. And I think everyone really proves it. Like, it's not just something they say or some sticker they put on their car like this spirit is just felt with through action um we have visitors stopping at shipwreck and amigos all the time we love chatting about where you came from where you're visiting why you're visiting we'll give you recommendations i mean it's just such a warm welcoming place so 100 percent, it's the people that's what's the best thing about bryan college station um and then the pete the locals who have made businesses here um and so you're you're supporting family when you eat local and you call local companies thank you and thank you for your time i'm sure all the clients are going to appreciate knowing seeing a face and knowing who they will be talking to yes and i can't wait to talk to new clients and meet new people and establish new relationships and really show them what a local business can do for them for mm -hmm. sure for sure and um, so mark your calendar for march 2021 because we will be putting this event on again and we will definitely have you guys there and look forward to seeing all the clients that will be there. Yes, don't wanna miss it. Yes, ma'am. All right, thank you so much, Meredith. Thank you, Sammy.